Let's go, New York City! So you are holding the autobiography of Malcolm X along with Alex Haley. I don't know how far you are into the book, but what's your biggest takeaway so far? Um, I kind of just started a couple days ago, um, but um, I've read and a lot of a lot of notes over the years. Um, it's my first time actually reading it from start to finish. Um, but just a very, um, very smart man. Very, very, very smart man. We want to ensure that our kids live in a nation that is safe, happy, healthy, and fair. And so this election. We're voting for Joe Biden. I got one of your friends here too. Steph, how you doing, pal? Mr. Vice President, I'm doing great. Here talking to them about the importance of voting, man. Absolutely. He's talking about the importance of point guards, what he's talking about. <laughs> for a moment, a stunning display of solidarity on the racetrack helped soothe the nation reeling from racial tension. Well, NASCAR, I mean, no pun intended, has been moving really quickly on this stuff. You know, them, them saying they're taking down the Confederate flag, them getting on side with Bubba. But now confusion after a noose found in the garage stall of Bubba Wallace, the only black driver in NASCAR's Cup Series, may not have been directly targeting the driver. New video evidence showing the noose found in Wallace's garage number four was in that garage as early as October 2019, before it was his, and months before Wallace demanded NASCAR ban Confederate flags. We have pink hair and purple hair. We have tattoos and dreadlocks. We got white girls and black girls and everything in between. Straight girls and gay girls. Hey! I kind of love the fact that these Sports Illustrated SJW woke idiots who are like, Megan Rapino, we have to give her the award because she's so, she hates Trump. She talks about gay marriage. She says that America sucks. She'll kneel for the end. Oh my God, so, so much heroing. So much heroism. And then she's like, well, how about you guys? How about you guys? You sexists. You brutal, vicious, racist, white, patriarchal sexists. Battled quarterback Colin Kaepernick took a knee as the national anthem was played in San Diego. 32 owners, the 32 teams, Roger Goodell, all of them to stop running. Stop running from the truth. Stop running from the people. And because this is not anymore about police brutality or free speech or anything like that. This is about why would, if you're a team owner, why would you possibly hire a guy as probably a third string quarterback who, if he does not play, is immediately gonna go to the media and suggest that you are a brutal, vicious racist? This is crazy. This is absolutely insane. Um, such at a loss for words. 